Hi, welcome to Ken's Games Collection and today I want to talk about the second trailer that dropped by uh, Team Reptile uh, Bomb Rush Cyber Funk I did this video like three times and I said Cyberpunk thank god I got it right but the trailer dropped and um, they showed more gameplay uh, the mechanics are going to be very similar to Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future I mean I've, I've got to say I, when I watched this trailer the comparisons to the environments to the characters is very reminiscent of this game which is a good thing because it is like a love letter to those old Sega games 20 years ago or more it's just it's insane to see uh, how this game is progressing it, it is a bit of a bummer that the release date is not 2021 it's been pushed back to 2022 and you know it, I would love to have seen this game come out this year but if they need that that time to, to make uh, an incredible game which it seems to be it's, it's going to be it's going to be open world do whatever you want in that environment um, pretty much you, you tag different things in it as well like the, the graffiti all that sort of stuff is happening very similar to Jet Set Radio Future um, I, I've got to say I, I, I just wish Sega would look at this come to the table and say can we work together? I don't. Yeah, it's it's probably too late for that. They've got the characters, the design, all down um, in uh, Cyberpunk. But it would be so great if Sega came along to the table and said, "Hey, let's add the Jet Set Radio characters as DLC. All those amazing characters that we had in both Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future. If that could happen, that would add another layer to this." But it just it, it to, I've said it before. This really bugs me with Sega. Um, all these amazing IPs, and they and, and you know they just leave them. This 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 series deserved another game, even a, you know four or five games because it was so innovative back in the day. And when you look at um, Cyberpunk, it is just oozing oozing um, Jet Set Radio Future. So the music for this trailer is by Hideki Namanuma, who also did the music for Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future. Now one of my favorite tracks on Jet Set Radio Future was The Concept of Love. I absolutely love that track and as soon as I started watching this trailer to uh, Cyberfunk, I automatically thought of that track and I put it together with that um, trailer and just put it up on my channel just for pure self-indulgence. It's a great uh, track and it does fit so well with uh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. So I guess one really good thing about this is it's coming out on all platforms. All current platforms, PlayStation 4, Series X, Nintendo Switch. I don't know how it's gonna perform on the Nintendo Switch. I know it will probably come to the Nintendo Switch because it's you know it's a popular system and also your next gen systems are PS5 and Series X and also PC it's already uh, up on Steam you know just like a little section there talking a bit about the game but it, it's coming to all platforms which is really cool um, but 2022 is like oh, please please can, it, can we quickly get to 2022 but um, I just think this is fantastic what I've seen is really building up the hype especially for those of us who have played Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future um, look there may be a lot of you out there who never played those games and you're scratching your head what the hell am I talking about um, Jet Set Radio you can probably pick it up on Xbox Marketplace Xbox Live Marketplace I did originally download that uh, for the, the uh, 360 uh, but when I got the Xbox One, I was able to uh, go into the store and download that for free. Thank God I didn't have to pay replay for that game. But that game is available uh, on that the Xbox Marketplace. So if you can, download that one, play it. I, I think this is a really good opportunity for Sega to do a HD remaster of this one. Now, this is an Xbox game. But on certain types of Xbox 360s, I think it's with the official um, hard drive that 
Xbox sold. Uh, I do remember trying a generic hard drive. Uh, it, it wouldn't run on that. It has to be an official uh, Xbox 360 hard drive to get this game to, to, to boot up and play on your 360. But I think it would be, a, 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 this is a perfect opportunity for Sega to give us a HD remaster of this to coincide with um, Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. I, would this would Sega do it? I don't know, but uh, I'm just looking at it and this would be a perfect opportunity to play something that is even better than the first game. The first game was unbelievable back in the day. It was just something that just, you know, our jaws dropped when we saw it. It was just an incredible game. And to get this one, which is kind of like, it's very similar to the first game. Um, it's not really a sequel. It's, it's just the, the, based on the first game, just more bells and whistles in it. And um, more things you could do with the hardware of the original Xbox. And it was just a fantastic game. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk is just going to be a game that I cannot wait to get my hands on in 2021. Physical or digital? It, if this game doesn't get a physical release, I'm going to be cut. But I will definitely get it digitally. But I really, really want a physical release of this game because it looks incredible. And it's if they can give, give us something very similar to this, the game mechanics are very similar, everything about it. Um, it's, it is a spiritual successor. It is a love letter to what is a great series by Sega that they abandoned. But I'm just looking forward to it. I'm just rambling on. But I, 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 if you haven't played this, if you haven't played it, you gotta, if you're collecting for Xbox, pick this one up, play it. It's just, it's going to blow your mind. It's as simple as that. Music is incredible. So I can't wait for 2021 to bring on um, Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait. Until next time, guys, bye.